The recent court case between Coinbase and the SEC is being watched by Storodo Dorotti, who is the chief legal officer of Ripple. He is worried about the court's ruling. Could the fact that Coinbase is going up against Cretini change the path of XRP? Crypto community is keeping a close eye on things, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and follow. Let's begin. And now we're going to start with this amazing post from Elon Musk. At the end, Storodo made it, even though no one thought he would. XRP is the reason why crypto was made. It's the one coin that rules them all. What we could see from Elon Musk's post was that Frodo was the underdog everyone thought he would fail. And that's great that XRP is right there at the top of the Bitcoin list. It was just the beginning and the price of that investment in Bitcoin was only about 0 to Bitcoin. Things are going pretty well now. The next one we want. Breaking news Ripple settlement talks are set to start on April 3rd. We are still fighting with the SEC and once they lose we will win the case and the price will go through the roof. But in other news about the SEC case, Ripple's legal chief talks about Coinbase's loss to the SEC by referring to the XRP lawsuit. Stuart Alderotti of Ripple doesn't like how the court decided the Coinbase v. SEC case. He said that the SEC was going after the judge with reasoning that didn't make sense. Alderotti thinks that the next task for the SEC will be to back up their claims with real evidence. Now, over the weekend, Stuart Alderotti, who is the chief legal officer of Ripple, wrote on Axe about Coinbase's loss in a case against the SEC on Wednesday. U.S. District Judge Katharina Portfeyer asked the SEC to go ahead with its case against Coinbase on March 27th. Claiming illegal brokerage of securities, the judge's ruling meant that Coinbase's request to throw out the CC's lawsuit was not granted. In his commentary, Alderotti criticizes the court's decision, implying that the SEC may have went after the judge with arguments that didn't have much substance. Basically, the SEC sold the judge a bill of goods that she had to accept as true at this point in the case of the Ripple CEO CEO. After reading the Coinbase decision, it was clear that the SEC lied to the judge and she had to believe them at this point in the case. The hard part now is showing proof. Sorry, the SEC hasn't been having any of it. Alderotti also said that the SEC may have had an advantage in the beginning of the court process, but that they will now have to show proof to back up their claims. Now comes the hard part showing proof. My bad, the SEC hasn't had any cattle, Alderotti said. This phrase makes it sound like a ripple QO thinks that the SEC legal moves against Coinbase are more for show than for real. Alderotti backed up his point of view by bringing up an earlier event in the XRP case where a judge threw out an expert witness that the SEC had brought in. Uh, he was skeptical about the SEC's ability to present strong evidence. And he used this example to compare the current Coinbase case to Ripple's past legal fights. Notably, the court's decision lets most of the SEC's claims against Coinbase go to trial while throwing out the claims linked to Coinbase's wallet. In response to the decision, Coinbase said it wasn't a surprise because they were ready for it to happen. As a result, Paul Gruel, the chief legal officer of Coinbase, said that the exchange is looking forward to seeing the SEC's internal messages about crypto regulation in court. We will now talk about Ripple vs. SESI with SESI's $2 billion claim and XRP's possible drop in value. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC made headlines when it asked Ripple, a major cryptocurrency business, to pay $2 billion in fees and fines. This demand, which was laid out in the SEC's most recent report, has caused a lot of attention and speculation in the cryptocurrency community. So looking at Ripple's possible plan to get out of the $2 billion fine. In its suggested judgment, the SEC is adamant that Ripple pay a huge $2 billion within 30 days of the court's final decision. If the court rules in favor of the SEC and Ripple decides not to appeal, the business will have to raise this huge amount of money very quickly. With such a big fine coming up, Ripple may look into different ways to meet the SEC's requirements. One choice is to use the XRP it has on hand, especially the XRP tokens that are held in escrow accounts as of December 2023. Ripple had put a large reserve of $46 billion XRP in storage. There will be a sell-off. It depends on whether Ripple decides to sell XRP to pay the $2 billion fine. If it does, it will need to get about 3 billion tokens out of lockup. This is almost 7% of all the XRP coins that are held in lockup, and it could have a big effect on how the cryptocurrency market works. That being said, there is no other way to pay this huge amount in such a short amount of time. This is because legal analyst Jeremy Hogan specifically targeted the SEC's call for a final judgment, which wants Ripple to pay a big fine for breaking federal securities laws during its institutional sales. He says that if the court agrees with the SEC's request, Ripple will have to sell a lot of XRP, which will cause the price of XRP to drop significantly and have a big effect on individual buyers. How to find XRP impact selling XRP might be one way to meet the CC's needs, but it also comes with risks for Ripple and the crypto market as a whole. If a lot of XRP is dumped, the price might change and investors might lose faith, which could cause the market to crash. It is important to remember that the result of the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC is still uncertain, as Ripple may go to court to fight the CC's demands. And the final decision might be different from what the SEC first suggested. As Ripple gets ready to file its opposition to the SEC's proposal, the cryptocurrency community waits for more information on how this high-stakes legal case will end. And how the case is settled will likely have huge effects on investors in Ripple and XRP, as well as the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. The one-year performance of XRP is better than that of global bank savings accounts. 
In the last day, XRP lost 136% of its value. However, this negative rise is not unique to XRP, as many of their competitors saw their sales drop by the same amount. On the other hand, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana and Dogecoin have all gone up by more than 50% in the last 90 days. This poor performance by XRP compared to its rivals is making its users unhappy. In the meantime, some well-known members of the XRP community have tried to calm down the growing negativity. For example, community investigator Mr. Huber recently went on X to say that XRP has done better than all savings accounts around the world over the past year. Even though XRP has gone up more than 6% in a year and done better than every savings account in the world, you people are still upset about it. That means XRP is better than bank savings accounts. Notably, XRP fell to a low of 42 cents in the last year and then rose to 93 cents. The price stop was necessary because the Ripple vs. SAC lawsuit had a positive result. At the same time, XRP traded at 51 cents on March 29th with no value. Uh, 2023. So a new report from Business Insider says that on March 29th, 2023, the average yearly percentage yield for U.S.